welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can tell, we are talking all about hormonal acne. I wanted to share my hormonal acne journey with you guys because the more that I started to open up about it on IG stories is the more that I realized that so many of you deal with the same thing. You have the same struggles and it can be so absolutely frustrating. It can take a toll on your self-confidence. And so I really just wanted to be open and share my journey with you, share what has really been like actually life-changingly helpful. I don't even know if that's a word, but I just made it up. So we're just gonna keep it going. <laughs> and I'm also gonna be sharing a couple of skincare must-haves for dealing with hormonal acne. We're just gonna get into all of it. I'm really excited to share this with you, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's just quickly start at like the very beginning of my hormonal acne journey. It was, I wanna say around 2011, I think, if I remember correctly. It was kind of a long time ago I've been dealing with this for a long time. Initially, it started for me as like, insane acne i know you're looking at me now saying what do you mean insane acne like your skin is perfect and it's because of the things that i'm about to share with you in this video why i've been able to bring my skin to the state that it's in i will try my best to see if i can find any photos i remember i hated taking photos back then because my skin was actually like i'm not even exaggerating it was literally full of cystic acne all over my face it was painful it was out of control i tried so many different things i tried proactive this is around the time when proactive was like popping it was new and it was the thing that you had to get if you had acne so at the time i didn't even know it was hormonal acne i just knew that holy crap i had acne all over my face and i had no idea why where it came from because before that I had your regular, you know, one and two little teenage bumps here and there, but nothing like the raging acne that actually just popped up out of nowhere. So, tried proactive. It helped, but I still kept having bumps. As one bump went, another bump popped up, you know what I mean? So, it was like a constant battle of like trying to attack the acne on my face. So then I went to see a dermatologist, and this was back in Cayman Islands. I was still in Cayman at the time. She then put me on Differin, and that was one of the things that like helped to treat my acne the most. But I felt like, okay, I had great treatment products at the time that helped to kind of kill the acne once it was there, but I was like, what is actually causing this? What, like, I just, it was just crazy. It was out of the blue. And so after just continuing to use all these things to treat the acne, we realized that while it's treating the acne, it's not actually getting to the source of the problem. So that's when my dermatologist, I kept going back and forth, back and forth, trying things. And eventually she was like, you know what, let's get you on a birth control strictly for the acne to see if that's gonna help you out. And this is where the magic happened. So this is gonna be my top tip. If you have hormonal acne or that kind of acne that I'm describing to you, talk to your dermatologist about getting on the right birth control. So the name of the birth control that she prescribed me was Diane 35. Let me tell you, my skin had never looked better when I was on Diane 35, bomb.com. Cleared me right up. It took a few months, you know, with skin, it always takes time anyway. But after, I remember like after the first couple of months, I was like, yo, my skin, it just, I don't know, the hormones, it just balanced me out, I guess and my skin was looking popping. So at that point, over those next few years, I was, it was great, that solved all my problems and then I would use my special treatments, my dermatologist um, prescribed treatments for when I did get the random like bumps here and there. But yeah, it was like way more controllable. The breakouts were just much less and much smaller instead of having a full flare up on my entire face. It was more like one bump here, one bump there every once in a while, you know? So the birth control was the biggest thing that helps me. Now, what's happening to me now is that you guys know in January of 2020, I moved over from Cayman to here, Atlanta. So I was taking my birth control, la, 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 ran out of the pack, and I was like, oh, I need to find me a gyno here so that I can get my birth control um, prescriptions here so I don't have to worry about traveling back and forth to Cayman and then I found out they don't have Diane 35 in the US for whatever reason I don't know what it is which sucks because that's what I've been using consistently for like almost 10 years <laughs> so 
I was like freaking out and I had to battle my hormonal acne a little bit over these past, over like this past year. I've just had to battle my hormonal acne a little bit all over again because I've been trying new birth controls and trying to find a new one that is available here in the States. Initially, I was just like, you know what? If it's not available here, that's fine. My plan is to travel back and forth frequently anyway, but with everything that's going on in the world traveling is now very very difficult and basically not really an option so I was forced to sit here and just experiment with other birth controls so the first birth control that I tried I can't remember the name of it doesn't matter because it was terrible for me I when I first was on it I got headaches and they said oh that's normal to like you know it's new hormones so I was like okay cool whatever I didn't have acne but I did get headaches and then the second month I was on that, I was feeling like less headaches because I guess my body got used to it. But then by the third month is when the acne started popping up and it was all like on the bottom half of my face, like all here, jawline, chin, and it was just popping up, popping up, popping up. And I, I was like, this is, this is reminding me of times that I don't like to remember. So then went back to my gyno and I told her, yo, this is not working out, let's try something new. So now I'm on a new birth control. This is the second one that I tried. And I will say this one, I actually didn't have any headaches like switching over to this one. I, um, I don't have any like issues with it and I feel like for the most part, my hormonal acne is under control. So this is the birth control. If you are in the United States, this is the one that I would suggest for you. I'm not gonna go ahead and make a fool of myself and try and pronounce this. So I'm just gonna put the name right here. But yeah, all in all, my main point here for kind of going through that entire story is to let you know the first thing that you should do in order to try and address your hormonal acne is to look into birth control, talk to your doctor, and just go through, I know it's like kind of frustrating, but go through a little bit of a trial and error process. You can even maybe just go based off of my suggestions and hopefully it works for you as well. But everybody's body is gonna be really different. It's gonna accept hormones differently. Some people are hormone sensitive. So it's just, you really gotta sit down and talk to your doctor closely and tell them your concerns and they will be able to know which birth controls are really great for controlling acne. So with that being said, while it does really keep my hormonal acne like under control like for the most part my well i have makeup on so you guys can't really see anything right now but for the most part my skin looks okay um but i do end up still getting those bumps even as an adult i'm 26 going on 27 towards the end of this year and I just feel like why and I know I know at the end of the day it's just the hormonal acne it's just something we have to deal with so yeah random breakouts are a thing for me it'll be like one week I'm like dang my skin looks so good I love it we finally got rid of the dark spots from the last breakout and then boom like the next day breakouts again you know it's like the most frustrating thing quick side note if you guys are watching this you're trying to figure out okay I have acne but I don't know if it's regular acne or if it's hormonal acne there are a couple of things that are different when it comes to hormonal acne. So they say hormonal acne usually happens more so on into your 20s. And so for my case, when birth control was the only thing that cleared up my acne and stopped it from flaring up, that was a clear sign right there that it was a hormonal thing. Hormonal acne also usually kind of shows up in this area, so around your chin, your jawline, and then also the type of bumps that you get when it's hormonal acne, they are different. Regular acne is gonna look more like regular acne, so it's gonna have like either a white head or a black head, you can kind of squeeze it and then it's kind of, it's gone and then you're good to go. Hormonal acne a lot of the times is actually underneath the skin, which they call cystic acne. So it's literally like a cyst underneath your skin and it is painful and there's nothing you can do about it because there's not even like a, a white head or something that you can squeeze to let the pus out and let out the pressure, you know what I mean? Like it's just under the skin and that's one of the things that actually makes it really difficult to figure out how the hell you're gonna attack something that's like so under the skin and like it can be the most frustrating thing especially because even though it's under the skin it still causes scarring whether or not you squeeze it whether or not it actually ends up coming to the surface it still sometimes will end up leaving a little bit of a dark mark which is so annoying but I am happy to tell you that there are some skincare products that I'm about to share right now that mm, I switched up my regimen a little bit and it 
is so good so good of course i do have to point out there are other things that can help your hormonal acne such as diet such as drinking water personally water is like all i drink that's not even for my acne that's just like a personal preference i love the taste of water not really a juice person definitely not a soda person so definitely by increasing your water intake as well as making sure that you're eating like a really nice and balanced diet not too greasy not too many sugars all that stuff that can really help as well but really the two main things that I wanted to point out in this video have been like the actual most helpful for me so that's birth control and now products which we are gonna get into right now so just quickly for reference my skin so obviously acne prone but it is also slightly on the sensitive side so I don't like using acne products that dry my skin out and like make it feel irritated things that are like super super harsh I don't tend to like to use especially not on like a consistent basis because I can get a little bit sensitive and then I also have combination skin so sometimes she could be really oily sometimes I can even get dry patches around my mouth here so I really really have to be careful about those acne products that really tend to just dry your skin out I hate that but I found some really good ones I'm just literally so excited to share so I kind of want to group the products in two separate categories so I have like a preventative category and then a treatment category for when the acne is there the dark spots are there you need to treat them get rid of them all right so let's talk about a couple of preventative products first and what that's gonna look like is cleansers and exfoliators so I have actually been testing out a ton of different cleansers and I have landed on these two that are my ultimate favorites fresh and general is a brand that I have been trialing lately and been absolutely loving so so much so first I gotta put you guys on to their soy face cleanser this is so good and the reason why I say it's so good is that it really helps to give your face a really nice deep clean so by this way we're preventing clogged pores which is major key but it also is very like moisturizing at the same time it is actually probably the best face wash that i have absolutely ever used in my entire life which is why i have like this big jumbo version here it is it, it is the bomb.com so a great face wash i use this morning and sometimes in the night if I do get lazy in the night, like let's say I have a day where I don't put on makeup at all, I washed my face in the morning, didn't really do anything, stayed inside the house, then I will do a much lighter weight cleanse, which is this. This is also by Fresh. This is their kombucha cleansing treatment. It has prebiotics in there, which is really good. It helps to feed the skin, but it's basically like a no rinse cleanser. So you can, this is great. Like if you're, if you work out, you got to work out and then go straight to work. You don't really have time to like pack your whole skincare regimen or you you don't have time to actually like fully shower or anything like that this is a really great no rinse cleanser because it literally cleanses your skin cleanses your pores and then it leaves like this little layer on the skin I know that kind of sounds like a little bit like ooh, like what kind of layer like no like it's it it's a, a layer that feeds your skin and it actually feels really really good on the skin like I can't even explain it to you you gotta try it to understand but it's like a really really great cleanser you literally just pour it out on a cotton pad and then wipe your face down with it and that's it you got a clean face like nice easy quick simple you know so love these both of these really really great for making sure that we are preventing clogged pores exfoliating is also going to be extremely important you guys have heard me talk about these on my channel before this is the dr dennis gross alpha beta universal daily peel by the way don't like stress out i am mentioning quite a few products here because these are products that i genuinely love but they're all linked in the description box below and i'm also going to have like an entire blog post of all of this stuff explaining my regimen in a little bit more detail so if this becomes like a little overwhelming or a little bit too much to you you guys can always refer back to the blog post which i'll also link in the description box below so that you can like okay like what does she say in that video again what does she use this for like it'll all be in the blog post it'll make sense i promise so that way it's in two forms you got a video and then you got a blog post as well so yes exfoliation very very important again for preventing clogged pores getting rid of dead skin and just helping to reveal some nice beautiful youthful skin this also kind of can go as both like preventative and treatment I'll still use this when I have acne as well to help exfoliate it and just get it like just wipe it away get it out of there I really recommend this even if you don't have acne this is a really great product to have because it's just it's constantly just revealing new fresh beautiful skin it is oh, it's so good 
no more uneven skin texture like no more bumpy texture on your nose like it just when you see people with the skin that looks ultra smooth that's what this is going to get you if you use it on a consistent basis so this does say that it's a daily peel but i actually don't use it that often anymore i used to use it like every other night now i'm kind of down to like twice or maybe three times a week depending on my skin and that's about it so this is the this is the pack that it comes in so you get like little packets that are together so one application is two wipes. So you use one wipe, you wait two minutes, and then you use a second wipe, and then that is that. All right, so now let's talk about treatment products. When you have the acne, there are actually two main products. When there's a bump and I need to dry it out or I need to just kill it, get rid of it, even when it's like under the skin, that cystic acne, these are my two go-to products. So first, Kate Somerville. You guys have heard me talk about this on Instagram so many times. I really just like to call this my acne killer, okay? Whenever I have acne, I just blot this on top, it dries it out, and I swear, like usually when you would have a bump for like three to five days, I have a bump for like two days because it just really dries it out, gets rid of it. I would say this has also helped me stop squeezing my bump so much, like when the head finally does come to the surface. Because it dries it out, there's really no need for me to actually squeeze anything. And then by not having to squeeze, we have less dark marks, which is major key, all right? You kind of want to like attack the acne without like attacking your skin. So you literally just get a Q-tip or a swab, whatever you call it, stick it in there and then blot it on to your acne, whatever you're trying to kill and dry out and that's it. That is it. So this is what I like to use at nighttime. So overnight it is like treating, drying out and killing the acne. I swear by this. I've actually been using this for years and I just keep repurchasing and repurchasing because it's that good. Now the second one I wanted to point out is one that's a little bit more recent to my regimen. This is probably gonna be the most hardcore product in this entire video but although it's like hardcore and you can kind of like feel that it's like really working when you do use it it's really good and it did not leave my skin like super dried out or super like unbalanced or anything like that it just got the job done so this is actually a small little sample version that i was sent by sephora and i love it so much that i definitely would go ahead and buy the big version with my own money my own coins so this is the Dr. Dennis Grows Acne Eliminating Gel. It's so good and I actually, the way I use this, I don't just use it as a spot treatment. I actually use this as a serum, but I only use this when I'm having like active breakouts. It just, it just works so good. Like this is actually an incredible product if you struggle, especially if you struggle with a lot of acne, okay? This is something that you need. As a part of the Sephora squad, you know, we always do like little virtual events and stuff. And so we had a little virtual event with Dr. Dennis Gross himself. So he actually spoke about a lot of his products and he said that this is something that you can and probably should actually use if you do have really acne prone skin. You can actually use this on the regular, even when you don't necessarily have an active flare up, it can help to work as a preventative care method, you know? So the main thing that I really love about this is that it's not just gonna leave your skin dry it's like doing its thing and it's working hard but it's not going to leave your skin feeling like it's the desert okay we all know like some acne products really just do too much it's too much and it's just not okay none of the products in this video are like that because I'm actually very very picky when it comes to that all right so the next couple of products that I wanted to mention are products that are really great for keeping your skin nice and happy and healthy but also attacking those dark spots you know after the acne is gone the battle is over you won you're still left with dark marks and it's like so frustrating right it's it's really really annoying i have a ton of them right now i don't know if you guys would be able to see under this makeup i have one right here i have some down here so it's like we all deal with it right it's just it's a thing it's a part of the game okay so I do have some products specifically for that. This is actually a black owned skincare brand that is actually formulated specifically 
for melanated skin and I absolutely love it. So the name of the brand is called Melee Skincare. This is their Even Tone Post Cleanse Tonic. So basically a toner that is good for evening your skin tone. I have been absolutely loving this. I use this every single day. Whenever I cleanse my face, this is going on right after. It actually took the place of my Fenty Skin Fat Water, which I was loving for all of last year. But as soon as I received this and started using this, it was amazing. And so this is something I use on a consistent basis, not just when I have flare outs, but all the time. So that way you're constantly you know, encouraging your skin to be evened out so that when acne bumps do come up, you'll notice like once you're continuously using products like this, the dark marks will start to fade a little bit quicker because your skin has already been fed with all the ingredients that it needs. It's used to, you know, it's just healthy skin. That's the way that healthy skin works. And so once you're using the right products and you're really feeding your skin on a consistent basis, you will actually notice that, yeah, you might still get bumps. Yeah, you might still get the dark marks, but they're not gonna last as long as they usually would when you were using products that just weren't right for you. The last set of products that I wanted to talk about were serums. I have these three serums that are incredible. So first, I wanna talk about my daytime serum. This is by Youth to the People. This is clean at Sephora, so it's really great, non-toxic ingredients. I love this entire brand, to be honest. They have um, glass packaging, which is amazing for the environment. All of their products are 100% clean, non-toxic. I really, really trust this brand and I absolutely am obsessed with their vitamin C serum. This is a fairly new product of theirs. So it's called their 15% vitamin C plus clean caffeine energy serum. And I, I just, I love it so much. It feels good on the skin. It actually, I actually feel like it's working. I use this every single day. And it's really just been leaving me with happy, healthy looking skin. It's really meant to brighten and firm, as well as depuff your face. If you have spots in your face that kind of swell up from time to time, or especially if you're going through acne, like this is just, this is an amazing like every single day product. So I really, really love this, 10 out of 10 recommend. I know I sound like a broken record because I genuinely love all of these products so, so much, but like, but yeah, I mean, I like they work. They have been so amazing for me, which is why I'm here sharing them in the first place. So the last two serums are my nighttime serums and I alternate between these two every other night. So first, this is another black owned brand and this is retinol. I have officially introduced retinol into my regular skincare regimen. Absolutely amazing. I've been low key scared of retinol for the longest time. Like I said, my skin can get really sensitive when it comes to the crazy stuff, right? But Shani Darden has come up with a retinol serum. It's called the Retinol Reform. So good, it's not like super harsh. You still have to make sure that you're wearing sunscreens, okay, like all the time especially when you're using retinol, but like you really should be wearing sunscreen all the time. But yes, absolutely love this retinol serum. So on the nights that I'm not using retinol, I am surging my skin with moisture. Like I said, my skin is combination, so sometimes it can tend to be a little bit on the drier side, sometimes it's oily. So really what the aim of the game is for combination skin is really trying to find that perfect balance. And a lot of times your skin gets over oily when it is feeling really dry. Like it overproduces that oil because it's dry. And I know a lot of people with like combination or combination oily skin or just straight up oily skin like to stay away from hydration products, but you should actually do the opposite. So this is the reason why when I'm not using my retinol, I am just blasting my skin with some hydration. So this is the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hyaluronic Glow Serum. It gives you 120 hours of enhanced hydration. It says it on the bottle. And honestly, I can tell you that I feel that in my skin. This regimen right here that I just kind of explained to you, Oh, my skin has never been happier. Right now, as you can see, we have no active bumps. Thank God, I'm a knock on wood as well because you never know when you do struggle with hormonal acne, you never know when the next breakout is gonna come. But for me, it's usually just pretty random. I never know like what's gonna happen. So this regimen has honestly been amazing. It's like the perfect mix of everything. So you can use all of this stuff along with your favorite moisturizers, whatever moisturizers work for you. I didn't think it was really necessary to touch on moisturizers, at least not for this video because I don't have any moisturizers that are for acne. I just use straight up regular moisturizers that I like, that feel good on my skin, and that's it. 
I will go ahead and include in my blog post which moisturizers are my current favorites. So if you are interested in seeing that, go ahead and check out the link in the description box to check out that blog post and my entire regimen step by step is going to be there, every single product that I have been loving for my acne prone hormonal acne prone skin. All right, so that is basically it. This is these, everything that I've mentioned in this video, everything from the birth control, from each product have been massively helpful for my hormonal acne journey. I feel like I finally have it under control and I feel like when I do have the flare ups that are inevitable, I can attack them and get rid of the bumps as quick as possible and then get back to the nice smooth like skin that we all just feel comfortable in. You know what I mean? So I really hope that you guys found this helpful. If you have any additional questions or if you have any products that have worked especially well for you as well, please comment below, let us know. I wanna make sure that this video, as well as the comment section, are both like really, really and truly helpful for anyone who may be struggling with acne. So please, if you have anything, just share it below. I would love to also check it out myself. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, go ahead and give a girl a little thumbs up. If you are new and you made it all the way to the end, I love ya. Just make sure that you subscribe before you leave so that way you'll never miss a new video ever again. Okay, sis? We don't need that happening. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Bye.